Nike was shown to be exploiting international taxation gray areas and long-standing loopholes, moving royalties between jurisdictions and accumulating offshore profits worth tens of billions. When analysis found the company's global tax rate had fallen from 34.9% a decade ago, to just 13.2% in 2016, growing anger at tax avoidance has made the issue a political battleground for the coalition and labor, with both sides fighting for credit over efforts to claw back much-needed revenue. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said this month Australia had the toughest anti-multinational tax avoidance provisions in the world and the diverted profits tax imposed a 40% rate on profits shifted offshore. He said the government's new laws and court win against petroleum giant Chevron were already seeing profits from big multinationals like Google coming back into Australia. The government wants lower corporate taxes, but the rates currently required should be paid. Why? On Friday, Fenner MP Andrew Lee warned big miners and gas explorers they would lose trust with Australians over billions in tax avoidance. Dr. Lee foreshadow a crackdown, potentially bringing on a new mining textile campaign against Labour ahead of the next election. In a speech to the Australian Petroleum Production and Exploration Association Conference, Labor's shadow assistant treasurer said a bill shorten led government would force companies to report specific tax haven exposure to shareholders, compel corporations to state their primary country location for tax purposes and work to strengthen the Australian tax office. Dr. Lee cited research from University of California Berkeley professor Gabriel Zuckman, showing as much as 6% of GDP, or $100 billion, is being held offshore by wealthy Australians. What is legal is not always moral or economically, he said. Bad apples can spoil the whole barrel. For voters and consumers, information contained in the research and leaks like the Paradise Papers must be a wake-up call. We are being taken for a ride by powerful advertising from companies who rig their affairs for greedy shareholders. Being an early adopter of new technology or decking out in stylish active wear could be rewarding companies who care little about the strength of Australia's society. Only demanding greater action by politicians and relentless enforcement of laws here and overseas can return the appropriate balance, in turn benefiting hospitals, schools, roads and law enforcement. Offshore tax avoidance requires careful onshore vigilance by us all. Sign up for our daily wrap of the news you need to start your day.